Hey everyone, this is Anthony Finch from Finch PC Repair, and today I'm going to be showing you a low priced multimedia light gaming custom computer that won't break the bank and will do a lot more for you than anything you can buy from Walmart or Best Buy for this price. So, the CPU that we're going to be using for this build is actually an APU, which is a CPU and GPU together on one die. Um, it's an AMD A450-300, it's a dual core CPU, and it has AMD Radeon HD 7480D graphics. The CPU is on the 32 nanometer lithography, um, it's 65 watts, it has 1 meg of L2 cache, and it's only $54. You can get a warranty, a one year extended warranty, so if it ever fails within an extra year after the main warranty, uh, new egg will replace it for free. So we're going to go ahead and go in. I've already got all the components together. So we're going to base the build around the AMD A4. The motherboard we're going to be using is an ASRock FM2A75 Pro 4M. I picked this motherboard for the simple fact that it has four DIMM slots. It has an 8-pin CPU power connector so you can upgrade to higher power APUs in the future. It has 5 SATA 6 gigabit connectors. It has two PCI Express X16 slots, one X1 and one regular PCI slot for legacy components. And also, it has two USB 3, two four USB 2's, gigabit ethernet, audio and optical out, HDMI, DVI, VGA and a combo PS2 port for a mouse and or keyboard. So this really has like the most features that I could find for the best price. Anything higher than this is, it doesn't have some features and anything lower than this is missing some features as well. So this is the best board that I could find for the price and I've messed with an ASRock board before for an Intel build and it gave me great results so I wanted to go with an ASRock board this build as well. <clears throat> also we'll show some specs of it it can do DDR3 2600 plus with you overclocking it 2400 with an overclock 2133 with an overclock but natively it does 800 1066 1333 1600 and 1866 and it supports up to 32 gigabytes we're only going to be using 8 gigabytes for this build but that means you can expand it up to 32 in the future it has 8 channel audio and like I said gigabit ethernet from Realtek um, on the inside Let's see. So that there's two CPU connectors, one for CPU fan connectors, one for a four pin and one a three pin. It has one chassis fan connector that's a four pin and one power fan that's three pin. Uh figured it was gonna tell me what else was on the inside for uh USB headers, but I guess it does not gonna it's not gonna tell me. Alright. Well this is the motherboard we're gonna go with for this. Now this is the best bang for your buck. So, we already know we're going to get some RAM. We need RAM. And I wanted to go with AMD. AMD specifically makes this memory to go along with their CPUs and chipsets. So, it will give you the best compatibility and the best performance. So, we're going to go with the Performance Edition 8 gigs at 1866, which the CPU will run. And you'll never need any more than that unless you're doing hardcore gaming or video editing which you can do with this if you buy a extra graphics card which you really wouldn't need unless you're doing high-end gaming uh, like I said the speed is DDR3 1866 it has a cast of 10 and it's at 1.5 volts and it has a heat spreader to also dissipate heat because RAM can get really hot if it is being used constantly constantly and the RAM is actually being used a lot like most RAM doesn't come with heat spreaders because I mean they don't think you're really gonna need it but I always prefer a heat spreader because you never know when you're gonna be using a lot of RAM and the heat spreader actually dissipates the heat so that will help then I'm gonna need a hard drive due to a flood in Malaysia 
I believe it was Malaysia hard drive prices shot through the roof and they're slowly starting to come back down but if you want just a good hard drive that's going to give you a lot of storage space and most people probably will not fill it up ever unless you're doing a lot of video t video recording picture editing uh, taking a lot of pictures and saving all, all your backups and taking raw picture files and uncompressed picture files and uncompressed video you probably will never fill this up the not the daily user will never fill it up it's 320 gigabytes at say to six gigabits per second with a 16 meg of cache which means it's gonna do fine and it's gonna run fast for 60 bucks you can get a one-year data recovery for 30 bucks and a one-year extended warranty for 10 bucks um, data recovery means as long as they can they'll get it for 30 bucks they'll recover all your data as far I mean I can ch we'll check into it yeah what data recovery by drive savers and I'll just leave this here so you can read over it for a second alright and that's pretty much it that's what the one year of data recovery is going to do so you may want to get that to save your data alright we got a Samsung DVD burner SATA DVD burner it's really nothing special about it um, got a 450 watt Antec power supply this is all you're going to need unless you start upgrading to high-end video cards or running five or six hard drives at a time and th I mean even that you probably wouldn't need nothing higher than a 450 unless you put a really big heavy duty uh, video card in there but it's 450 watts 120 millimeter silent fan um, and then the heavy duty protection circuitry I'll leave it right here I'll highlight it so you can read it alright so I'm gonna move on so we've got everything now we need a case and that's pretty much it I also did include in this most computers these days come with a card reader where well, this is a rose wheel 40 in one some of them you'll see are 32 in one 16 in one this is a 40 in one USB 2.0 card reader so you'll never have to worry this uses it has one USB slot 2.0 slot for a flash drive and easier access in case you don't have to go around to the back or in case you don't have access to the back of your computer it has a SD card slot should go down here we can see the more see more actually it supports all this right here these require an adapter so don't worry about those unless you're actually using those and you need an adapter but all these it supports right here you can pause the video so you can see it and you can read through to see if it would fit you but this is what normally I would include with a computer like this now on to the case I picked the rose wheel FBM01 with dual fans micro ATX mini tower it's a small case and it's uh, good I mean in case you don't have a lot of space but it will hold everything you need it will be quiet and it will last a very long time we're going to show you the front it has two USB 2.0 connectors, headphone and microphone port, and power button and reset. On the side, it has room for possibly one 80 millimeter fan somewhere in here if you wanted to screw one in. But it does have an 80 in the front, or actually a 120 millimeter in the front and an 80 in the rear. You can see the base for optical drives up to two the bay for your card reader and up to two or three hard drives possibly in here depending on if you use regular hard drives on SSD and then we got your motherboard here and power supply goes up here and every, your hard drives like I say go here connecting them up and you're good to go and it's in a small form factor it's compact it'll be light and carry it around from place to place if you really need to if, if you're moving it won't be this big heavy bulky machine like some are today and that's all you'll need so the total price comes out for this just about 
is three hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty five cents I would charge seventy five dollars to do the whole build install windows and do all the windows updates and install all your drivers and that would include updating the drivers as well if you need a monitor mouse or keyboard I do have mice and keyboards here and if you need a monitor we can just throw one of those in and speakers you'll need speakers most people well I'm pretty sure all people want speakers but we're gonna look at some monitors real quick do LCD and try to keep it as cheap as possible here so we can give you the best experience for the lowest little amount of money alright so the best one we're gonna find is $69.99 so 15 inch monitor so now we're gonna come out to $428 after labor and everything it comes out there a little bit over or right at $500 <coughs> excuse me so $500 gets you a computer that will do iTunes HD YouTube video uh, edit pictures edit video and light gaming um, and be great for a storage machine or just for a machine for people to get on and surf the web and everything like that it won't slow down it can run antivirus without skipping a beat you'll never fill up the hard drive um, the RAM you'll never probably need to upgrade it and like I said I mean it's good for light gaming but it's basically a surf the web email Microsoft Office and edit light video and picture editing and you're good to go so this is what I recommend for a low end or a low price but very good bang for your buck PC alright well this is Anthony Finch signing off and I will Catch you guys later.